Hey guys, we're here for yet another review. We always appreciate you sending your attention this way. In case you haven't yet, make sure you like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube page. As always, our review will be spoiler free, so you can check it out even if you haven't seen the film yet. Today's topic is Steven Soderbergh's latest film, a Netflix original release with an A-list cast called The Laundromat. Welcome to the cinema we would compare this film to Vice or The Big Short. It tells a complex story, but it uses comedy and interpretive storytelling to give a simpler context and help those that aren't educated on these topics to make sense of all the details. At r and we were pretty divided on the scoring for this film. Some of us felt like the movie was just above average, while others found it to stand out highly in most categories. Overall, we gave it a 7.1 out of 10 points. We will say this, this film is storytelling told very artistically. Every shot seems like it connects to some other piece of the film, winding and weaving an intricacy that you truly must pay attention to in order to follow the timeline. This film addresses several fundamental issues at the core of the tax evasion and avoidance crisis in America. It shows us several examples of this process and how it works. We follow three different stories detailing these financial crimes, while our two main characters narrate and explain it in a very simple context. This is the kind of film that makes you think when it's over. As the ending credits ran, we found ourselves angry and perplexed at what is taking place right under our noses and how our government purposely does nothing to prevent it. If the story itself isn't enough to make you interested, then maybe the A-list cast will. With names like Gary Oldman, Antonio Banderas, and Meryl Streep attached to this project, we find ourselves drawn to it the moment we see these actors in it. And did we mention that Gary Oldman is in this film? One of the most underrated actors of our generation. He gives such an impressive performance as if he could do anything less. We also see supporting roles from James Cromwell and David Schwimmer, who make appearances. We find ourselves submerged into this world that seems like a fantasy, but is truly the harsh reality we live in. Such a story-focused film doesn't rely heavily on a score. This movie finds a way to ease this score in without overwhelming us and finds a perfect blend of both score and film. The bigger item to notice here is the visual effects, the cinematography, the backdrops, the special effects, the scene transitions, etc. are one of the most intriguing pieces of this work. The smooth and suave way these scenes interact, the way our characters move throughout them, the choreography detail, everything about the visuals in this film are grade A. Netflix is certainly stepping up their game, and Steven Soderbergh has once again proved that he has a visionary eye. Overall, this film is definitely worth your time. It's a fun, educational, and visually artistic work. This movie will undoubtedly fall under the radar, not getting the credit it deserves. But here at R&R, we like to shine some light on the little guy, so if you're looking for something that is not mindless entertainment, check it out and we hope that you enjoy. That's all the time we have today, and remember, these are the droids, I mean, the movies that you're looking for. And as always, it's a beautiful day in the cinema hood.